36 goals in six games on Saturday and one pace and absence. Just the offense seems like it's really deep without your best. Yeah, and I, I mean, I think that's just everybody realizing that we're missing one of the game's, game's best players and everybody else just stepping up. And and having said that, uh, really try to focus on our, our game without the puck and our tracking and our reloads and, uh, you know, gaps in the neutral zone, our defensive game, because talked about it before, but that's kind of where our offense starts and shutting other teams down in D zone, arriving fast and, um, you know, coming out of our zone with some speed. And, and, and obviously when we do that and play fast, draw some penalties and, and our power play has been a lot better the last six, seven games here. And, um, but having said that, we obviously miss Nate and we're excited to have him back here, hopefully soon. Perhaps this is what you're alluding to, but also the conventional and easy move would have been to slide five or up in the center on the first line. Do you have any thoughts on that? Because you guys have been so much better in the second half. Well, I think Nas Berkey and Val has, you know, some really good chemistry and they play really well together. And, and as soon as Val came back on that line, they've been, they've been lights out and playing really well for us. And obviously Nas is <laughs> producing at a, crazy level like right now and feeling really good and and it looks great out there and um you know Miko's filled in really good at the center position and OC has been playing well all season and he's earned that that right to play on the top line and and uh and he's playing really well for us so um yeah it was two goals now in your time here do you feel like you're settling in a little bit better and do you feel like maybe this style fits your your play a little bit kind of things going? yeah the team's really fast uh something I have to adapt to too and uh, D like jump in and rush and uh, yeah it's a type of type of play I really like to to do yeah to play. Is it too much for your comfort to just get a couple goals early? Yeah, of course <laughs> it's good for everyone I guess to score. But uh, yeah, I haven't scored uh, much in Philly and it's good to ha have here and help the team win. Gave finally some consistency in the lineup the last few games. Just how much is that helping you guys get on the same page and pay attention to those teams? Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you can have the same lineup for a few games and, and you know, have guys stay healthy and, and uh, you know, as a team, we just realized that this is a good time for us to really get going, obviously, before a big road trip coming up next week and realizing it's important for us to start climbing the, you know, the standings. We, we didn't have a great first month of the season, but at the same time, a lot of new guys, a lot of new faces getting used to the system and whatnot. So, um, happy with the way we played the last handful of games, but um, very early, and we just like to continue and, and keep winning. You, you played with Kale his whole NHL career. What what have you seen him change? I guess that has led to more goals this year. I don't know if he's changed anything. Uh, not that I'm aware of, but he, you know, maybe just shooting the puck a little bit more, and 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 obviously we know he his ability to jump up in the play and, and, and lead the rush and um, beat guys one-on-one -on -one and things like that. But it just seems like he's getting more and more comfortable every single day. And obviously uh, dealing with some injuries and um, you know, the last six months or whatever. And, and he looks like he's feeling a lot better and kind of hitting a stride here. Um, he's been, been a, been a horse for us. It's been really good. Yeah, Curtis came into the lineup today and kind of did the job that everybody was expecting from him as like, and you just comment on that and then just comment on, uh well obviously Dermy's a uh, he's awesome we we love having Dermy and and he's a big part of our our locker room and and always a happy guy hardworking guy and good to see him you know come into the lineup today and do a really good job obviously we know what a presence he is and not only the fight obviously he's one of the toughest guys in the league and and a lot of the time he doesn't you can't find anybody to dance with because he's just that tough but um, yeah, you know, it was a good fight and set us off on the, uh, you know, on the right foot there at the start of the game and uh, set the tone. The altercation at the end is just, it is what it is. It's an unnecessary play, I think, but um, yeah. Two more, uh, please go ahead. Jared's now the all-time greatest coach in the franchise club history. How proud are you to be a part of that, especially since he came on 16, 17 and had such a bad year that yeah, obviously a lot has changed and, and, you know, that first year was, was a tough year for everybody. And I'm sure that was a tough year to come into the NHL as a coach and, and your first, first big job in, in, in the NHL and have such a tough season. That's, uh, that must've been hard on him, just like it was hard on, on us as well. But, 
you know, he's he's been a very st steady presence for us in that locker room and, and continued to to get better just as we all try to do. And he's a good communicator and a good coach and um, has a good system in place that he's he's pretty firm on and, and he believes in and that um, that helps us players knowing that our coach believes and, and uh, you know, kind of translates to the group and I'm happy for him. Yeah. Last question, Peter. Yeah, Johansson has said he's come into the game in weird circumstances the past two games and has done a good job. What, what have you seen him do well and how important is that for this team? Well, I, you know, I've never been a, a goalie, obviously, or, or a backup goalie for that matter, but I can only imagine how hard that would be to sit and, and kind of have to be ready at all times. And um, like you said, he's done a really good job when he's come in the last couple of games for, you know, kind of strange circumstances, but uh, he's real solid tonight and, and made the saves that we needed him to. And uh, we gave him the game puck after the game because he was he was solid for us and made some big saves. So happy for him. And, and uh, yeah, he's a big part of our team, just like everybody in that room. Thanks, guys. Have you ever had a skate goal you've come off before? Like, is that something that happens to lots of goalies that are kind of still in No, <laughs> I don't think it's that common. Uh, I've never seen it in person. I've seen it. I know it happened in the NHL a few years ago, but no, it's not not something that happens every day. <laughs> what's, it, what, what's it kind of like going in under that circumstance, knowing that you might get pulled right back out? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to focus when I'm out there. And then if it's for two minutes or the rest of the game, it doesn't really matter. I just try to focus when I'm out there. When it happened again to start the second period, did Jared kind of tell you, like, this is going to be your game? Or were you just wondering the whole time if the track was kind of? No, he told me in the tunnel when I was on my way out that I was kind of finished. Gotcha. James said that you got the game clock. How did that feel? I felt good, yeah. Uh, it means a lot, uh, you know. Uh, we've got a great group of guys in there, and I, I love to be a part of it and to get the game back is, you know, it just feels good, yeah, it's funny. Since your arrival in Colorado, how much do you think you've improved and what's the main reason for that improvement? Uh, well, I think it's a lot of things. Uh, you get uh, get some confidence uh, working with uh, how, how we work in practice <clears throat> on the ice and uh, like I said, a great, great group of guys just uh, lifts me up, uh, and yeah, better confidence, good practice, and I think that's one of many reasons. Uh, probably, I don't know, <laughs> honestly, but uh, yeah, uh, Darcy's great. Uh, he's a great goalie colleague to have on the team. We work good together. What's he like as a teammate? Like, what's he doing? Uh, well, I think uh, we're kind of similar in the way we in the way we are. He's uh, he's a really calm guy and uh, always always close to a laugh. So it's easy to be around and uh, also a guy who's been in the league for a while. So a lot that I can learn from. So yeah, it's a good inspiration every day to work with him for sure. Thanks, guys. Yeah. First, McCarr's, uh Six goals in four games, pretty much unheard of for yeah. I mean, that's like Paul Coffey stuff, and he almost matched that record. Yeah. Just thoughts about Kale and his ability to score from the back end. I mean, you don't see it every day, and um, but he's a special player, and he's hitting his stride. He's playing well, and. I think there's there's an element to it where he's shooting the puck more. There's an element to it where he's just recognizing what teams are giving him, and he's he's moving into the right areas and making plays. But I think he's done a really nice job here recently, tonight especially, of just either distributing the puck when he should be or shooting it when he should be. And those decisions like lead to good offensive zone time, offensive zone chances, and I mean, he's an elite player, and especially in that in that position on the offensive zone, blue line, he's as good as anybody I've ever seen. Yeah, a little over five years ago, you were warming with you guys that you could miss drops. How gratifying yeah. is it to be the number one goalie for on the Avalanche right now? I mean, it, it, it's 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 an honor to be coaching this team. I've said that before. I'm 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 grateful. I'm thankful to be here, especially after the first year. Um, 
so for me it's it's satisfying but it's not the reason i came you know it's it to move up a list or you know it, i just i enjoy coaching the team and when our team plays well and and we get rewarded for our hard work and we're all chipping in try to accomplish the the ultimate goal and that's to win the stanley cup and um you know, there's a lot of work that goes into it every year. I'm proud of my staff. I and mean, we've got a good staff here that's really hard work. We've got a great group of leadership and great group of guys in the room. And, um, you know, I'm just one piece of that. But I'm, I'm certainly happy to be doing it and, and, and grateful to be doing it here with the Avalanche. Love the city, love the people um, of the city and, and the people that I work with. So it's fun for me to come to work every day and there's no, no better job in the world. <laughs> no, <laughs> I said it on the, I said it on the bench. I was like, what again? Like I've never seen it happen. You rarely see it happen even once. Like I've seen players lose it. You see the, the odd goalie every once in a while, but I've never seen it as, as often and certainly not in back-to-back -back games. And then twice in the, like at the start of the second period. But um, yeah, at that point, I was just like, okay, JJ's gone in, he's ready, he's mentally in the game, he was, he made a couple big stops, and I just felt like that's his game now, like, let's find a solution to the skate problem, the, the, hold, the holders is what's giving us trouble, it's, it's breaking and uh, the trigger's not holding the blade in, so it's just falling out, um, so he's going to change, the solution is he's going to change holders to a different brand and, and put him on the skates he has so he'll be ready to go for Dallas, and um, hopefully those holders don't give us some problems or <laughs> I don't know what the next solution will be. <laughs> is it, is it same skates, yeah. Okay. He, he they changed the holder lot, last game, though. That's why he had to leave the game. They couldn't get it to work. It was broken, so they put a new one on, and now this one malfunctions. So um, we'll, we'll go to a different holder, and and, um, and hopefully there's no more issues. I think you say about Williams having to come in those, under those conditions. Two years yeah. Well. well, he's been good. I mean, it takes a lot of – it's not an easy job being a backup and, and, and you know, not playing for a while and and there's a lot of hard work that goes into it with uh, uc and and jj in our case um of keeping them ready and keeping them sharp and um you never know when you're going to get the next start and how long it's going to be he has a good idea based on our schedule and our conversations but he doesn't know exactly when it's going to be so you always got to be ready so you got to be mentally turned on and focused and and ready to go on a daily basis and, and you got to make sure you're still like not easing off in practice that you're sharp and you're getting your work in and that's before and after practice and, and in practice and JJ is really driven to improve. Um, he's a real coachable kid and you know he's been working and getting better and getting better since he joined us and, and we like what we're seeing from him in practice and, and now in the games and I think that game now puts him at one one and one on the year which is really good for a backup and he's going to play some more games here uh coming up because we've got uh another back-to-back -back this week and and won the f what, four games the following week so we'll see when frankie's ready to go and just how that all plays out but I i'm impressed with the kid and his work ethic and his determination to get better I have more technical question but on a five on three why do you go with two defensemen instead of a normal power I like the right, right and left shot in there, and I know Berkey is is a left shot, but um, defensemen just have a easier job surveying the ice up there. Taser's certainly a capable guy, obviously, um, but I, I like those two guys. They play together all the time. There's good chemistry. They move the puck well with each other, and they know what's what's tuned in there. And then we have Berkey on the other unit. Um, if we ever get to it, which today on 150, if we hadn't scored, then those guys would have been coming out for the last 30 seconds of it. So, and we've gone, we, you know, with Mac, we use, and when we're healthy, we use, we use Mac up there and, and, and Confer down at the net. So things are changing. So we're moving them around a little bit. There's a, there's a role that Kirkman's going to place, obviously, is more of a dominant. Is this just a case of offsetting the fact that they have a guy that plays the same role, or is there more to well, there's more to it for sure. That that's a that's a piece of it though. There there've been a big heavy team that's kind of tried to get physical with us in the past. Um, but again, I touched on it this morning. Like Dermy's been working hard. He's interested in that forward spot. Um, 
it gives us security for our team and we know that um, great teammate will do anything for the group and and um, he did a nice job his details were good today he did he, he did a good job and, and and that line did a good job and we're around the net and I think it keeps the opposition on their toes a little bit as well so um, he works hard at his game a lot like JJ takes it real serious and he's a real good team guy great to have in the room on game night uh, looks like he's really moving his legs right now holding back the right games in your eye what do you see from him right now yeah, well, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, it, ever since he's been back, really, but that was certainly a quick game from him. But he just looks way more assertive. He's on pox. He's hungry. He's winning his battles, races, making plays when they're available to him. Obviously, we know he's got a, he's got a um, an offensive gift there too, and and we need some some depth scoring. And he's he's filling the role. I've been really impressed with him from day one since he's been back. And and you know what he. I should say that I, I've been impressed with him since he got sent down with the conversations I've had with Crow because different guys handle that different ways. They can pout, they can feel sorry for themselves. They can, you know, think it's my fault that he's not here or Joe's fault or whatever it is. And But that isn't going to get you up any quicker, you know. And I think I think uh, Crow did a great job sending that message to it to him and, and knew he from, from the day he stepped on the ice with the Eagles, he was determined to get back and, and do what he needed to do to get here. We always knew it was in him because we saw it in flashes even last year it's just about um you know there he needed to put in more work and he, he, he there had to been had to be more work involved in his game he wasn't just going to be able to skill his way through and was the as fast as he recognized that it's credit to him because not all guys do recognize it that quickly thanks, Jared. Yep, thanks. thanks.